Starting off here, the Turning Point CEO openly calls for violence against trans people. This is um, based on reporting from, this is reporting from Aaron in the morning. In the last year, calls for violence against transgender people have been on the rise. Increasingly, conservative leaders are more willing to make those calls. Charlie Kirk is the latest. In recent months, conservative leaders have increasingly made explicit threats and calls for violence against trans people and their allies. Last year, Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene advocated beating transgender people into the ground, quote unquote, for serving as summer camp counselors. Mark Burns, a Republican candidate for office in South Carolina, called for the execution of LGBTQ plus allies as treacherous, as treasonous, sorry. Tucker Carlson ex excused people who made bomb threats to children's hospitals by saying the hospitals were the bad guys. He then put up pictures and names of the hospital board of directors. Kaya Rachik, creator of the Libs of TikTok account, has instigated many incidents of violence. Now, Charlie Kirk, CEO of the influential right-wing organization Turning Point USA, has said that transgender people should be dealt with in the way we did in the 50s and 60s, while anti-trans swimmer Riley Gaines nodded in agreement on the show. Charlie Kirk is the CEO of the very influential conservative organization Turning Point USA. The organization raises tens of millions of dollars every year and is a major recruitment source for candidates for office and political commentators. Candace Owens, who, who herself recently advocated for violence against trans people, was communications director for the organization. They've become a major source for anti-trans policy and candidates who advocate for the removal of trans medical care, public accommodations, and more. Re Representative Braxton Mitchell in Montana, author of an anti-drag bill moving through the legislature there, was a Turning Point USA ambassador. Representative Mazzy Boyd of Missouri, who authored a drag bill and gender-affirming care ban, was recruited by Run Gen Z, an initiative developed by TPUSA um, at a 2019 conference. The organization maintains talking points and academic our academy presentations against trans people. Now their leader um, is calling for lynching and other forms of violence against trans people. Um, these calls for violence have not gone unanswered though. Threats against the trans community and our allies have materialized in a number of ways. Portions of Boston's Children's Hospital were shut down multiple times over bomb threats, a story that we've covered here multiple times, and threats to transgender care providers. Um, bomb threats shut down Keele, Wisconsin, for weeks due to an investigation into students bullying trans people. Patriot Front members were arrested and pulled out of their the back of a U-Haul for planning violence at a Pride Festival in Idaho. And then, um, you know, so many other things. There needs to be widespread condemnation of accountability for calls and, and accountability for calls for violence against the trans community. Aaron says, I've seen this kind of language increasing in recent months and coming from more prominent figures in conservative circles. Kirk is currently on tour and will be appearing at the following colleges in the next month. If you attend these colleges, show them the video of this um, as it will be important to administrators. Again, this is on Aaron in the Morning's website on sub, Substack, Aaron in the Morn. The colleges that he is touring are University of California, Santa Barbara. Oh, that's right. That's right close to me. University of Kentucky, University of Illinois, University of California, Davis, Rutgers University, Louisiana State University, Ohio State, uh, the Ohio State, let's say, and Texas Christian University.